come in here with me. I realize now I'm trying to refit this again just because I I know I'm gonna have a large gap up front like it from the original rocker that I put on not the original the first replacement but after I cut this it's gonna drop this down a little bit um, I think my gaps still not gonna be right back here at the back but needless to say the door is not gonna overlap anymore um, and I think that should suffice I, I I think I have a little bit of give where I could pull this rocker out, which will make it look a little bit better. Yes. Yes. I can pull it out. That kind of, well, man, it kind of deforms it. But this cab is loose now, too, so it needs to go in. And as you can see, once I weld that into the metal I have on the inside there, it's going to pull that back. I also need to make like a filler panel to go back in behind here. We have to do a, a bunch of welding, okay, a lot. But I, w I just wanted to make sure that I had this at least close to where I wanted before I start welding stuff back on. Right now, I'm thinking this is going to be the best we can do. But the door's fitted the way I want it. The cab corner gap, now I'm going to have to grind this a little bit to smooth this out. But it's looking more better. -er. Is that a word? Down through there? Yeah. And then another thing I did was I, I cut the lip on the this rocker and, and bent it in so it goes in behind the cab corner now. So it tucks in behind it. So I have something to weld to now. So I put a bunch of, I've, I've used a bunch of self tappers, okay? It's not hard to fill in holes from self tappers, so I've, I've used a lot. But as of right now, I got this in tucked, and as far as I can get it, I cut it right there. It overlaps it here. I'd like to pull this out some right here because it makes a creaking noise. You hear that? I don't know what's going on there. <gasps> It also puts off a smell. Yeah. Also, we overhang. I, it's not. It's going to droop. And that's just the way it is. That's, you can see these panels were made different. This has a longer overhang than this one. And it, it sucks, but that's just the way it is. And I don't want to mess this thing up trying to bend it to shape to match this. And I would have to do it the whole way down. But after we do that, then we can take the outer rocker off, finish welding the inner rocker back again, and then uh, try mounting the outer rocker then. It's a lot of work. That's why this is multiple episodes. All right, so the inner rocker is mounted now with booger welds. A grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't. Yep, yep, I'll live by that. Anyways, these welds, they don't look the best, but it, some of the welds I did looked really good. Some of them didn't. It's because it was dirty metal. I didn't get all the paint cleaned off. That was the problem. Anyways, some of you might disagree with me right now, but I'm gonna take my cutting wheel 
And now that I have this mounted on here, where I'm going to be putting it, I'm going to cut this together, the inner and outer. Oh, no, the outer and outer, okay? It is going to leave a little gap there, but I'm going to backplate that with another piece that I have here. So I've done it before. I like backplating because then you have extra metal there and it definitely holds better um, in that way. And it also helps you with uh, not blowing holes through it. So that's what we're going to do. Lots of body work, man. Lots of body work. And the fact that this lip isn't as big as the one I put on it or the cab, it's like, I got this from CJ Pony. I don't like, I, I don't know where I got my other rockers at. And I like those ones better. So, I don't know if it's the, the supplier CJ Pony's using what. I don't know what. Not impressed with the. Of course, aftermarket panels. You kind of just have to be okay with the fitment because it's not going to be factory and they're cheaply made so they just it's just the way it is so anyways i yeah i put my sleeves on after i burnt myself several times smart cover yourself kids anyways i'm gonna cut that off so watch me hopefully not mess this up This is a little more I'm doing for tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to come back. We're going to finish welding this rocker in. Uh, as of right now, I need to make some patches for where the cab corner is and where the rocker meet. But I'm pretty sure I have it where I need it. I'm going to have to put it back down on the ground so I can move it forward. I can't. I have to have the door open to put it up on the lift and I got to roll it forward to be able to close the door. And I just want to make sure. I want to see how it's fitting where it's sitting right now. I want to see how it's fitting where it's sitting. Like your mom. Anyways, as you can see what I did, you know, I, I did cut this and you can see I, I kind of put a little bit too much of a gap in right there, but it'll be okay. Backfilled it with a piece of this that I had left over. Put that in there, self tappers both sides to draw it in. Yes, it's not perfect. These, these panels were not shaped the same. Okay, so this dip here and this dip here are two different because they're two different company probably panels. But anyways, yeah, it, it's fitting really good as you can see, but it's not perfect. Just like this seam, not perfect. So, yeah, that's, that's good enough for tonight. And then down here... I am going to have to roll this lip in or it's going to look weird. So I don't know if I can get away with just hammering that in. It would actually look better if I could get that hammered in the whole way across. But I just, I don't know how that's going to go. So I'll try it tomorrow. Uh, it definitely would look better because it would match this one. But yeah, I don't, I'm not quite sure yet if I want to do that or not. looking better yes I got TV now can't show it to you copyright reasons um, I had to put the truck down so I could open the door um, the only thing is the cab corner and this are way way off so 
and the cab corner is mounted too high. I'm not redoing the whole cab corner. We're gonna mess with this as best we can, but as you can see, the overhang there, it sucks. And the way that this rocker shaped different than the one that I put on, that also sucks. But I don't wanna butcher this too much. So, right now, just letting it warm up. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, since I moved the radio and messed with the wiring and stuff, it has fixed my voltage gauge and that choke light that was staying on. It fixed it. Now I have no electrical problems again. So it was something to do with the radio. Anyways, it's not mounted right now, so I need to bring this rocker out on the bottom, which is just gonna be me bending it and then fold it down so that this matches with this because right now it doesn't so i'm just going to do some prying here i might as well go ahead and shut it off i wanted it to uh, run a little bit because the battery was a little low like might go ahead and throw a charge on it all right so what needs to happen is i need to bring this out to meet the cab but i also need to keep this in and i can't just pull it and that happen and i forgot i had these things and these are for like welding and lining up panels well this thing slides out I can put that in there just line it up with this panel and pull this out to meet the cab if I do it right so I'm gonna try this real quick we'll see on camera if uh, we can get this out far enough and I won't if I put it down far enough I'll be able to shut the door yeah so let's try that. And I don't have to worry about marking the paint because I gotta paint this anyway. So um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and try it. Have you ever walked the high pass? Watch the northern lights flash, took a photograph on a Paris street. I can tell you firsthand this is not how I wanted this to fit but I do have a gap now and it's a lot closer so that's as close as I can get it and that's what we're gonna have to work with all right I've been messing with this for a while decided to throw the door seal on so I do have to slam the door like I did before but shut solid gap it's tighter here than the front but there's at least a gap which is way better than it was this is way better than it was I do need to grind some of that off but still that gap is way closer I got to make like a backing plate back in here so I gotta get this thing back up on the lift alrighty
Rocker mounted. Booger weld acquired. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. But it's on there, okay? I got it mounted pretty solid. So give me a minute. I got to get this thing down on the ground and uh, roll it forward because I got to see how this door fits. And so now I got to fix a couple holes I put in the rocker. Anyways, we'll, we'll get to that. So <laughs> it's no, it's not good. It's not good, kids. <laughs> As you can see, I still have some stuff to work out. That's all I can fit in this video. It's not everything your mom can fit, though. Anyways, I'm not 100% happy with it, but without doing a lot, like redoing the cab corner, eh, I, I, there was no way I could get this to fit any better than I did. And honestly, it's pretty good and then i bent that bottom lip up in so it doesn't have as much of an overhang as it did before so it's pretty close the only difference is the cab corner sticks out this way about an eighth of an inch maybe so there's kind of a little step there um we're gonna even this out with sealer but after i get everything fully welded and ground I almost have that fully welded uh, but I do need to it's it's gonna need some fiberglass strand filler because uh, obviously I warped it uh, welding it in there so it, it shrunk the metal so it's dipped the whole way around there but that's okay because that's gonna help us with making that look more uniform okay so it doesn't look as bad and you can see I kind of I stepped that down the lip where the seal rides this is going to get seam sealer down through here. I got to maybe grind a little bit more off, but seam sealer down through here. It's going to get some up through this crease up there. That's back plated and welded in back there. That's all back plated and welded in. And then as you can see, I also welded it onto the inner rocker. So it is now solid. I do still have one self tapper in there. So I had to fill it well, while I got to finish filling this hole. Kind of missed it. And then I got to take that out, finish filling that weld. And then seam sealer, because I did it before, uh, run seam sealer across the inside of this back up here since I ground all that off. There's like a weep hole on the side there for the water to come out. Might not be that bad of an idea to put a drain hole down through right there so it doesn't run in between your inner and outer rocker and then it would run down through the bottom but i don't think i'm going to do that i got lots to do here next episode i'd like to get this finished not painted but finished so if you like this video smash that like button consider subscribing and we'll see you on the next episode all right Sleepy boy. Hmm? Sleepy. He's so sleepy. And we have Miss Stella. I'm stinky, right? Mr. Stew Man. Oh. 
Did I wake you? Hmm? I did. Sorry. Hey. I guess we're not waking him.